wind. What's up? <laughs> Balancing this on on the steering wheel. Easy 12k. Start the uh, start the weekend off. I've had a good week of training so far, and uh, keen to smash some miles this weekend. Cause next race, six foot tracks coming up quick. So uh, yeah, easy one to start, and planning for a uh, good long one tomorrow. Right now though, I'm heading into town to have a coffee and catch up with my mate Bugo, who I haven't seen in a bloody long time. Yeah, that GoPro. Uh, and he's a pretty cool, cool dude, so should be good. <laughs> Cup of tea, chamomile, because we're out of green. Bloody good to catch up with Buggo today. Been, uh, it's been too long. <laughs> Before I was into running, I was really into music. I play guitar, and I, that's how I met him, and just he helped me out tons with it. He's just the top bloke. And uh, how often do you get to go for a coffee in a 34 Ford? Not very often. I'm just filming this out here because it's way more interesting than sitting inside, I reckon. Saji, you boy. All I ever wanted to do with music was to play with other people, but I was into jump blues and swing music from like the 1940s and 50s or 30s even, and I thought, there's no way anybody's going to want to play this music with me, and even if they do, no one's going to want to listen to it. But thanks to Bugger, I met Taylor, uh, and he played double bass, and we got a band going, played some gigs, and people just loved it. And it's, it just goes to show, if you, if you want to try something, just try it. The only way to truly fail at something is not to actually try it in the first place. And it's just like running my first ultra I had no idea if I was going to be able to do it but you know I was never going to find out if I didn't give it a go and if you just just give things a go usually you end up surprising yourself definitely something I've gotten better at as I've gotten older it's just giving things a go when I was younger I was always worried about what people were going to think about me which is the biggest waste of time. If you want to do something, just do it. Do, who cares what anybody thinks about you? Just beat to your own drum. Anyways, I'm going to bed. Full-blown recovery mode, and not from my long run. Was all ready to roll, woke up Sunday morning, crook as a dog. And I, I don't know, I was like gastro, but I never threw up. I was just some kind of bug. Just completely wiped me out. Couldn't get out of bed all day, and it sucked. If I wake up in the morning, I don't feel like a coffee, and I don't feel like peanut butter. 
Something's not right. So basically all I've done is watch YouTube and Netflix. Well, Sunday I couldn't even do that. I was completely wiped out. Uh, and then yesterday I felt better, but there was like waves of it coming on. And I, I tried to go for a run, which is a stupid idea. I managed 6Ks and I felt absolutely horrible. And uh, now today, still like I feel better, but it's just I'm not feeling quite right. So I'm just going to not run and going to rest and just wait it out. So this was basically me all day Sunday. Sarge! Coming back to life slowly. It's uh, Thursday now, so it's been two two days since Sarge decided to chew up that cushion. <laughs> but oh, I've just been feeling flat, and I haven't like I haven't ran. It's been super frustrating. But anyway, I feel like I actually felt hungry today. I just had lunch at Ecology, which is a bomber. But yeah, I haven't been cooking or like really even feeling like eating all week so I think I'm getting there Mum made uh, Mexican bowls for tea I'm not very hungry so I'm just having a little bit but it's good but check this out They got caught in the washing machine, somehow. I don't know, it's, it's never happened to anything before, but happened to my favorite pair of run shorts. Now, oh. Bit of a, uh, gloomy morning but back in action thank god I was turning into a complete weirdo when I can't run not feeling 100% but feeling way better Friday night at the beach with Saji because I reckon jumping in the sea is going to make me feel heaps better. Freshen me up a bit and it's hot. It's like being real uh, humid today. Why'd you chew that cushion up? What was that about? <laughs> Definitely worth it. So nice in there. Let's go. Hi. Come on. 
So I'm kind of speaking from hindsight here after this past week, but when stuff like this happens, because it happens to everyone eventually, you have a setback close to a race, you know, little injury, you get sick or something. It's like your natural instinct as a runner is to just freak out and do dumb stuff. Like I shouldn't have tried to run the day after I got sick. It's just stupid. Uh, and you just tend to flood yourself with negative thoughts. So you just got to remember to think positive, put things into perspective and use common sense. For me, I've still got three weeks to go until the race six foot track. So I've got plenty of time to recover and... Like it's not ideal, I'll probably get at the start line a little bit underdone, but it's so much better than trying to train while I'm sick. You end up just digging yourself a hole, get the start line cooked. So, and then if it all just goes to crap, you just remind yourself it's just running. It's, it's not the end of the world. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching the video. Oh, just It's crazy. The channel just hit 4,000 subscribers. I feel like I was just saying I got to 3,000 and it's... I appreciate every uh, single person who watches and comments and everything. And uh, yeah, I love making these. I hope I can keep making them enjoyable for you to watch. And uh, that's it. See ya.